And have either of you guys ever been rafting before, camping, any of that sort of thing? No. I've done like hiking, RVing. Sometimes I've, I'm adventurous, but I just stay home a lot. <laughs> I don't like going out really. That was the first time where I was like, oh, okay, like this is, this is outdoors. <laughs> My name is Hector Verdugo. I'm the Associate Executive Director here at Homeboy Industries. I came in as a client, former gang member, looking to change the ways of, of my life. Um, worked my way up the ladder, became, you know, where I'm at today, and it's been the best decision of my life. So Homeboy Industries is the world's largest re-entry program that specifically serves formerly incarcerated and active and inactive gang members. In order to really understand Homeboy, you have to come and see it. You gotta come and feel it. I don't know how to put it into words, but I, the best way I can describe it is like coming home to a place you've never been before. At, at Homeboy, it's like, hey, you know, it's an individualized approach to care. You have more information, you have better context to support somebody and build that rapport and build that trust. And that way they will trust you to, to, to move them forward in a space that they never occupied before. Much like what we did when we went whitewater rafting. In that gang culture, you know, you're, you're on the edge of death, you're on the edge of, of, of pain. It's an excitement. So I feel like, hey, how about if we were to you know, play with our adrenaline junkie selves in this manner where it's positive. Everybody's curious, like, am I gonna drown? Am I gonna, are we gonna flip over? And it just, it just raises the hairs on people, but I know they're gonna come because most people are just like, I'll roll with you as we do on the streets. And, and I'm scared and I'm excited and, and I trust you, Hector, and uh, good, because we're going to have a good time. At first it was like, okay, well, we're going to lead the way. The adults that are here, the staff that are here, we're going to, we're going to get you guys hyped. We're going to jump in the fronts of the boats. We're going to really full send it. And by day two, they were telling us to get into the back and they wanted to, 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 to lead the charge. And then the other thing was um, when we jumped off that, that cliff, man, and I got up there and I had it in my mind, like, all right, this is, not, this is not that big a deal. Like it's water, I've jumped in pools before. This is, but it's a different animal when you're looking down, right? And you, got, you can hear the water, you can hear the rapids, and you know there's rocks down there thing too. And if I don't jump far enough, like something bad could happen. I know everybody else is saying it's safe, but like, you know, and I forget which youth it was. She was like, come on, Rick. Oh, hell no, you're not just gonna sit there and let us jump in, are you? And I was like, well, I'm already here. Yeet, and then just into the water. And I realized like, okay, that was terrifying, but I'm okay. And then everyone just said like, oh shoot, like I'm doing this. It just, that's what it's about. You know, just the courage to be able to say, this is scary as shit and I don't know what could happen. I could drown, this river could, you know, could that happen? Yeah, there's a possibility. Am I gonna, is that gonna stop me from living? Nah, I'm jumping in. <laughs> I feel like most of us box ourselves into this is what we're allowed to do. This is what I'm capable of doing. In in the environment that we grow up in, you know, like you could you for the rest of your life you could be a gang member if you live long and you could be in and out of prison for the rest of your life or in prison for the rest of your life. I just love bringing, you know, being a part of of new experiences in life. And, and getting out of the box of the generational, whether it be poverty or gangs or just 
concrete jungle be able to say I've done whitewater rafting you know I've jumped off big ass rocks into into rivers and like hey man I was scared but I did it anyway what else can I do what other challenges can I can I accomplish you know and um, it's just the beginning there's so much more and but all it takes is that first step and, and it takes courage to do that and I'm just proud of everybody that went and and went through it and came back and I know there's a there's a piece of themselves that will change forever and uh, and Lord willing that they will pass that to their kids and, and get us out of the cycle of, of violence and drugs and gangs and, and incarceration and into like just living. It's an amazing experience, first time ever. You guys gotta come try this out, man. It's so beautiful. So this disconnected me and I was able to be here and be present with all of you. It was good, um, you know, learn something new. Do you wanna go back grafting? Absolutely. So, I, and the thing is like, Something in me is telling me like, no, 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 that's outside of your comfort zone. And I know out, just outside of your comfort zone, that's where success lives. And I'm all about growing and pushing myself to discover new things about myself. And I want to be a part of that process for others too. Like it's, it's, it's success is addictive. Success is addictive too.